My name is Yvonne Whitman Doolin. My name is Nicole Regan. I am Edith Wright. My name is Melvin Wright. My income was very low. Once I paid my rent, paid the electric bill, paid the car insurance, just nothing. Being hungry, it takes from your brain, it steals your energy. You don't, it's hard when you don't have food to eat. Hunger can affect anyone. I've always been this hardworking girl. I've always been in school. I've always had a great stable job and life happened. I lost my job when I got pregnant. My son's dad made other plans. So here I was alone, pregnant with a house payment, working almost seven days a week and going to college and taking care of my son. And it was very, very, very hard. Am I going to be okay? Am I going to lose my house? Am I going to be able to eat? Am I going to be able to feed my baby? Am I going to be able to graduate college? I don't know what to do. Melvin had to go in the hospital and get surgery. So I called my boss and said my husband has to get emergency surgery. And she said, well, if you want to be with your husband, I'm going to go ahead and put somebody else in your spot. That means I'm firing you. And it just, like, hit me right there while he was back in surgery. Oh my God, we already struggling with having food. I'm going to be stuck here in this spot for the rest of my life if I don't find some help. So that's when I reached out to the food pantry and I got that help I needed. Once we filled out the application, it wasn't even 24 hours before we got help from the food bank. And they brought the food here in boxes and it filled our entire pantry. My mother was that mother. She had Sunday dinner every Sunday. But every once in a while, I prepare a meal that I know everybody likes and invite everybody. And I love that. I absolutely love having my family around me. Without the community, without all the volunteers, I would have been stuck in this position that I couldn't find myself getting out of. Food does give you hope and, and the strength you need to get through the day. You, how can you function without it? Back then, I would have thought I would have never got through it, but thank God to St. Louis Area Food Bank that there are volunteers out there that love what they do. It is a blessing to get that box. And for the people that go to work to do this, God bless you. It is wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so much for being there for me, for helping me get through college and keep food on the table and provide those basic needs that I needed. Thank God for St. Louis Area Food Bank. Thank you, St. Louis Area Food Bank.